Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create relations between sketch entities. As you know, establishing relations is one of the foundations of parametric modeling. Let's activate the line tool, place my point. You'll notice that as I move the cursor, yellow glyphs appear next to the cursor, indicating either a vertical relation. In this example here, you see the line is straight up and down, or a horizontal relation. The line is left to right. Now, how do I know which is which? Let's take a look at these two red arrows at the origin point. The longer one always indicates the vertical direction and the shorter one always indicates the horizontal direction. If I left click to place the point when that glyph is visible, then this relation is automatically applied. Now it appears as a green square box under the line. As I continue to mouse around, two yellow callout lines appear. I'm going to place my second point and continue to move my mouse. Here's an example of a perpendicular glyph. Let's create one more line. Right click and select. This closes the tool. Now, for example, if I want to create a line parallel to this line and this line, I basically control select both lines before I activate the line tool. Now I left click to place my first point. As I move the mouse, I see the parallel relation glyph. Let's accept. If I want to create a line parallel to this one, as I move the mouse, nothing happens. But in order to activate this line, I just simply scratch it with the mouse. Now when I move the mouse, I can create a line parallel to this line. Right click and select to close the tool. The parallel relation symbols have numbers 1 and 2. And as I mouse over the glyph, the corresponding sketch entity is highlighted. Double click on any glyph to open the relations property manager. Here's a list of the included sketch entities and the name of the relation that's been applied. To delete a relation, just select it and press delete. Now I'm going to select and delete everything with a window select. Let's activate the three point arc tool. First point, second point, and third point. There's my first arc. Let's create another arc and a third arc. Right click and select to close the tool. Now if I shift select these two arcs, I can choose between five types of relations, which I can edit. Co-radial, tangent, concentric, equal, and fix. Let's select tangent. Now the tangent relation symbol appears in the graphic area. By the way, if you don't see the relation glyphs, go to view on the main menu and select sketch relations. Let's select it again. Now select this arc and the line tool. Now I can create a line that's normal to the arc or tangent to the arc. Let's create a line that's tangent to the arc. Once again, I'll just scratch this arc. And let's create a line that's tangent to this arc. Right click and select to close the tool. Let's activate the line tool again. Click on this arc. And now I've got the rubber band effect. I can create a line tangent to the arc at this point. Right click and select to close. Once again, let's control select these two arcs, add a tangent relation. Let's control select the third arc and add an equal relation. Let's click accept. And this concludes our lesson about establishing relations between your sketch entity. And you'll have plenty of opportunity to practice this during this course.